Tonight, doctors say that a single negative COVID test does not necessarily mean that you are in the clear, especially if it's a rapid test. Way 31's Max Cohan spoke to Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health. She explains the current state of testing and why it's more important now than ever. Uh, the rapid antigen test does have some pitfalls and can be false negative. According to Dr. Karen Landers of the Alabama Department of Public Health, PCR testing is still the gold standard when it comes to determining if a person has coronavirus. She says the rapid tests are accurate nearly 80% of the time, but PCRs are in the 95 to 98 range. Current guidance recommends symptomatic people who have received a negative rapid test should follow up with a PCR. Landers says if you have symptoms, you should presume you have COVID unless a PCR shows otherwise. And I think this is where we do have the risk of community transmission, where persons think they have a cold or a sinus infection, and so they have a negative rapid, they don't follow up with a PCR, and then they turn out to have COVID, you know, probably a, a mild case of COVID but they spread this to other people. Additionally, she says it's important people remember to wait five to seven days after an exposure to get tested unless you're showing symptoms. Testing numbers have been declining since the start of the year. On January 4th, Huntsville Hospital reported 890 daily tests. A month later on February 4th, the number was down to 493. Despite that, Landers says the positivity rate is still over 10%, way above the state's goal of less than 5%. Now, with variant cases identified in the state, there is concern that tests may not be able to catch these strands, specifically the highly transmittable UK variant. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says that doesn't seem to be an issue in the state. We don't uh, believe that we're missing any variants at the moment based on our testing, um, but you know, certainly theoretically that's a concern, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue to monitor that. In Huntsville, Max Cohan, Way 31 News. Dr. Erlander says that false negatives are a major concern of hers. She emphasized the importance of considering your symptoms, even if you've had a negative antigen test.